Excited to go on probably one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. I mean, you're spot on there. Beacon check. In case we get buried in avalanche. Real talk. Okay. So you got me and then Jake switched to search. Keep him on search. One, one, two point all. Okay. Are you still getting me? Yep. Okay, cool. Yo. I got you, brother. Sounds good. The best part about going uphill is when you're done, you're rewarded with more uphill. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out with Mr. Jake Ski Guy and Chainsaw Ken, and we're uh, doing another Jake adventure. Right now, we're hiking two and a half miles up to the top of a ridge in the mountains out west, and uh, it's uphill the whole way. I think we're doing 1,500 feet of incline, and yeah, it's gonna be a pretty intense hike. I don't have all of my camping gear. I packed as much as I could in a two check bags, personal bag and a carry on. But uh, yeah, I brought out the hot tent and I'm gonna be out of the breath a lot of the day because this is pretty much all day, just going up. That's a train you can hear in the background running through the mountains. But uh, we're gonna cook up some delicious food and I rented a snowboard so that I can join Mr. Jake C guy and Chainsaw Ken and we can find a nice spot to go Riding down. So let's do it. I should also mention, we're doing three nights because the flights were ridiculous. And it's all I could get. Uh, temperatures are like 32 at the car Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. It was like negative five with wind chill. That was what my thing was reading. But it's pretty warm. A lot different than the last time we got together. Anyways. We're not even that far at all yet. We got a long ways to go. I don't know if you can see it through the trees there, but there's the top of the mound that we are camping on tonight and we're working towards. You can kind of see it. I don't feel like pulling out the DSLR. So that's what you get.
Yeah. So we're not camping up there? Well, <clears throat> you can see the bowl. Right there. Yeah. That bowl is the sun. So originally that peak right below the sun there is where we were gonna camp. But since it's all like barren rock and exposed to this wind, we're gonna go up to this timber up here. You can see there's a patch of trees. I think that's where we're gonna put at the base. And then we'll probably end up climbing to the top and snowboarding and skiing down. So that should be fun. That's the plan for now. Subject to change as always. Let her rip. <laughs> okay. This is not working like I planned. Oh. Didn't work out so good. No matter how many times you do it, going up steep little hills like this is just, just as much fun every time. Each and every time. No. Ooh, listen to that whistle. Hooey. Jake's ski guy faces his hardest challenge today. He's stuck in the middle of a hill. Not making much progress. Jake, you look good. <laughs> Let's pick up the pace over. <laughs> hey, thanks for breaking trail, you know? We really appreciate it. That was quite fun. Off of the other trees. Oh, look at that view. That's gorgeous. Dude, I like the sound of that whistling through the trees. Yeah, it's so desolate. We're still moving up tree line after tree line. Now we're going for that one. We'll see what we decide on after we get to that one. Now when you're out here hiking up in the mountains, you want super nutritious trail snacks. Thanks, Ken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're vegan. Mm-hmm. So this is gonna be our spot right here. We're gonna camp right here, overlooking this. Hundred and ten centimeters. <laughs> That's not bad. What is it? How many fees that? <laughs> okay. All right. It feels deeper than 115. <laughs> 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 no, no, gloves on. You want some help? I'm not lying, dude. <laughs> Yo, uh. You want help? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, snowshoe Dan. Oh my god. Oop. Is that enough? I'm still not on the bottom here. Hold on. Yep. 
out, there's a log there. <laughs> hey, Ken. Ken. Hey, Ken. Uh, <laughs> he dug himself in already. Are you digging like a snow pit or a... No, I'm digging a platform. A tent pit? Let's dig it right in here. Yeah, it's a little different than having a green shovel. <laughs> One cubic inch at a time. I'm thinking the best way to do this is pouring them out. You want to know the real fastest way to do this? We start a big old fire and then we just go skiing. Melt it out. Melt it out. Ski oh, it. It works. We just make snacks and go skiing. We come back and then it's all clear. And the fire went out three hours ago and it didn't really do much. <laughs> At least there's three of us doing it, you know? Yeah. Rather than just having them by yourself out here. Are we going to clean it or get, what's with that new rock there? Dude, we can could, we could totally flip this off. Totally build a Quincy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Focus. I can I can uh, wholeheartedly say that there's a reason why I made it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once we clear it out, you know, I'll get to work with the the axe. I thought your nickname was Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw? Okay. Dude, these dinky shovels are a blast. <laughs> Jake's doing all the work. Yep. All right, boys. Oh yeah, look at that piece, dude. Oh, I think I found another stump. This is just turn on too great. <laughs> yeah. It's also on a pretty severe angle. Oh yeah. Look at. It actually goes down a good amount. Yeah, we're gonna need snow to level our spots out. Yeah. We're going to have like tier system in there. What's this? Is that a legit big stump? Yeah, I think so. Huh. We should have scouted this out last fall. Because <laughs> we can plan that far into the future for trips. This is like the night of planning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of adventures we do. Is he friendly? Can Whoa. you pet him? Right hey Steve. Nice, Steve. Well, enjoy your day, Steve. I'm sorry we ruined your life. Steve's hungry, man. Feed him an Oreo. Oh, no. This looks like a great <laughs> shit. Wu Tang for the children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boys are down in the pit. Pit progress is we've got like what four or five trees in there, a nice stump. Ken already cut that side. This is just a great tent site. <laughs> it's perfect. If I could look at the whole mountain, I said, oh man, this would be a great spot. <laughs> you did look at the whole mountain and say this would be a great spot. That's true. <laughs> yeah, so we got some deep walls. We're gonna have to cut all this stuff out. We would have been better off just setting up a nice spot in an avalanche chute. <laughs> yeah, but the view. It turns out those avalanches really clear the way for you. They do. <laughs> Spectacular spot to camp though. We just need these clouds to clear so we can see the mountain peaks. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but. It's cold enough here though. Like, you're not seeing a fog. I got hope that those clouds will clear at one point. If only for a moment. Yeah, that's kind of a precarious. Yeah. 
Great Ace Ventura, Hosa. You kind of goofy like he is? Yeah. It'll work out. You got that pet monkey? Yeah. It's loose. Oh. That was a ball of snow. That's loose? Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh. Back. I got to simmer down, bend it over to get those huge snowballs. Stall for a while. It's kind of kind of strained my back there on that one. Heads up. <laughs> Peakage. Oh yeah. I know we're going on. Close it can't go. You can film it from here. Dude. Hope you brought a stall photo lens. <laughs> Just too big of a snowball that I like yeah. bent over. Dude, it's a then I got like a twisting lifting motion. I got a little sharp pain when I'm doing this, now I have to like use my legs. Posey, did you bring your yoga mat? Yep. Jake's gonna lead us into asana. There we go. I'm We're down. gonna do a yin flow. 90 minutes, seven positions. Dude, and with the hot day, we can do hot yoga. Hot yoga. Oh, Jake. Bedding. All right, hold on, are you really covering that tree? You gotta move it, I know. Why are you covering it then? Because it's there. <laughs> I got this. Ken, Ken's gonna take back his comment about having my work ethic. Yeah. <laughs> Call it backcountry integrity, bud. You really want a skier to come down and fall in this pit? I mean, they'd have a nice home. <laughs> there you go. Given he did get divorced over in Alaska. <laughs> his wife left him over. Yeah, that might add some sour. Too Take sweet. Take I, just, I, I say we start cutting the green ones down to give us a better view. Alright, so if I come straight across, like right here, that's big, right? We need to come to like right here. What? Dude, you just keep extending it. Well, we're gonna want room in front of the tent. This is the door. <laughs> Damn, Ken. It's the only thing I have, okay? It'd be cool if you didn't compact it all down. Yeah. My forearm is going to be on fire after this. Want me to stop in? No, I Jake. Can use on fire. That is quite the log. <laughs> So here's the pit coming along. Your pit's coming along. I know. <laughs> Jake's making the final cut in that one. Then we just got to get rid of this big old thing. And, and then some leveling to do. <laughs> Ken got both sides of this frozen log. And then once that once this one's up, that one's up. Then we're just gonna level her out. Oh, I already broke my tripod. Cool. Is it broken? Broken? Yeah, it'll still work, but I broke it. <laughs> oh, is it? You it's it. okay. Two paths. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, <laughs> my leg, hold on. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, let's cut those things. Okay. Uh, we got our log, we can stick under it. Maybe, maybe Jake's right. Maybe we cut it. Yeah. It's make it. It will be easier. Let's make good decisions. Stairs. Oh, I was digging that right here. Oh, okay. It's gonna be easier to go right out the doorway. Oh, the door is right here. It would be right here. Yeah. 
Whatever, man. I'll just dig more snow. Hey, here. I want. You, can you track this down? Track what? Stairs aren't gonna work, but like a ramp will. Yeah. Can you track this down. It's a little slidey. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, you want me to carry this with you? We can get it all the way loose. Gus, through this pass. Sounds like a good time. Southwest, so we probably picked the best spot. We might want to build our walls higher. We can do that. We dig from the outside of the wall, and we got to go a ways away so you have a good base. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, there's a big mountain over there. 
Ah. Not that bad. Do <laughs> <laughs> it, just a rat today. <laughs> Rubik's cube. <laughs> you need to find the end, Jake. Okay. So I think there's a few ends in there. <laughs> this is all the <laughs> guy lines in one. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Hey, look. Oh, there you go. Hey, I got four ends right there. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna go skiing. Alright, I'm just not, not finding solutions, I'm just finding fun. I apologize. I need an Oreo. Team building exercise includes the complicated puzzle. We already faced the complicated puzzle. We solved it. Now I got another one. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's still pretty bad. Give me this one. Okay. Let me just figure out which one that one is. Do that not. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> okay. There you go. One. Now pull on one. Hold on. This is why you don't like packing to go out. You're like, God, I gotta do all this stuff that I do every time. Because I do the same things every time. It's more like when I'm getting ready to go home, I just, I'm just like, I don't feel like making it nice and neat and oh. taking my time. I just want to like, throw it in there and get it out of there, you know? And then never put <laughs> it until the next time you're out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know I actually would be better to pick it up. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Instead of like, I thought you were going to hang it into the wall. No, I'll pull it up over the wall and slam it down in the snow. Okay, okay. You might want those vertical stakes though. Think? We'll see. You got an anchor right there. You can anchor the vlog. Yeah. Out. Hold on. Quit pulling there, Pancho Vila. <laughs> oh, this is bringing me great joy. You legitimately just keep tying the cord on people. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is exactly what I do. Eventually, I'll so have watch, these. So when this is that long, why don't we just cut it and make it short? Because I need them long, bro. Oh. Oh. It has. One more, General. It should be it. We did it! Rats nest defeated. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I don't make something more. Oh, 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 Dude, what if we got a big stick like this and then guide it out? We could do that. Or we could just dig the pathway right here and save a lot of. I'll shovel a new pathway. To stake out the walls here, normally you know I do stakes tied to trees, but we've got snow banks that are essentially higher than the tent is. So we're just going to take sticks, wrap the rope around, pull it tight, and bury it down in the snow, and it should hold against the snow in theory. With 80 mile an hour winds predicted for tomorrow, we'll see about that here. This update has been brought to you by Esker. <laughs> Esker. The, the thing that's the thing that's saved us many times. Many times. It's brought to you by ATM. KTM. KTM.
Yeah, I'm just tying a loop in it. Flipping the stick through. Pulling it nice and tight. Sticking the stick down. I'm burying it. And that secure. Security. That's pretty sweet. That turns out really nice. This sure is a snowfall right here. It's a freaking snow snowboard. Oh my gosh. I think I might sleep on the outside by that snow. That's good. This is alright. This is alright. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I think so. Oh, thunder lungs over here. I don't know. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I brought yeah. my I brought my freaking uh, earplugs. <laughs> I brought earbuds so I can jam with Louis Armstrong here thundering. Just put on a thunderstorm and then you'll think my snores are part of that. Should I empty my sled and just throw the sled? Rather than risk throwing them at the tent? Well, I'll, I'll carry it in armor, it's fine. Alright, boys. Look at that, dude. Oh, 50 caliber. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's sweet. We're set up! Sweet. Can we take a nap now? Yeah, it's nap time. Wait. We need three days with the firewood. Four days to be safe. Yeah, four days to be safe. Let's start that now. Are we there yet? What if we can't leave the tent tomorrow? We can leave the tent. If it's a blizzard, dude, you might get lost. It's true. Between here Wait. And here. We go together. We leave one beacon on in camp. Follow right back. Did you hear the solution? I did. <laughs> you leave a beacon in the tent so you can go back to the tent in a blizzard? Nice. How else are you going to go take a poop? <laughs> I'll carve a little bit. I don't know, really a hole right there behind you. Which tree should we take down? I'm gonna take that small one. I mean, we're gonna want that one, that one. That one's like enough wood for two days. Like, once you get down towards the base. The problem for me is you guys can just like go up and we, I have to like carry my snowboard up and then carry my snowshoes down. Maybe just track me with that. Hey, how uh, how long can we go? Um, Should we go? Four feet. Well, we need the door open. <laughs> you just gotta kind of measure. I don't know, like that, like your average log. Okay. You can go longer than you think you can, but not too long. Since we're kind of tired and done a lot of work. We still got to cut a bunch of firewood. We've, we've decided we're going to reward ourselves by hiking up to the top of that and snowboarding down. <laughs> and then we'll deal with firewood. <laughs> Solid planning. <laughs> this is why we're here. Yeah, we... We rented the snowboard, right? So you might as well get at least yeah. one run out of it for the day. Per day. I'll take up the rear. How about that? That works. Oh. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it looks higher. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely easier. I gotta figure out how to secure this a little better. This thing is slipping and the weight's shifting. Oh, there's that leg burn again.
JC guy in all his glory, doing what he's always wanted to do. Oh man, I haven't been snowboarding in years. <laughs> this is where you want to just go give her the old test run. <laughs> oh, am I going next? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm a little unsure myself, so I gotta I gotta ease into it. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. You go ahead, Ken. I'm gonna go make my way back to camp. Okay, sounds good. These guys went a little further down than I did. It's, it's just work, man. Yeah. It's time to click some firewood. So we can hot take. I'm taking this bad boy right here. Less tripping hazards around the already 
All right, let's get this thing going. I know it seems like I got the camera at an angle, but it's actually the camera's level and the, the, the tent here is more of the issue. Jake's got these little Fire starter tabs. Probably get that pot going to melt water. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, as soon as we get the uh, fire lit up. Poza. Huh? Incoming. All right. Set it on there, I'll move her around. Probably put it in that back corner is where we're gonna stick that. Incoming. All right, let the hot tenting commence. Cutting it, splitting it, burning it. I'm stacking it. What about stacking it? Oh, I think that counts as a splitting part. I like those tubs. Yeah, these are nice. They just click right in, huh? Yeah. Oh. The old ones I used to have were just like a snap, kind of like a, a binding. Yeah. And like, it's a good nice stuff. And just pop it off. I think gas is low today. All we gotta do is finish getting up enough firewood 
I mean, technically, we really don't need. We can run out tonight. We can not like the other trip, but we needed it. We needed it. We needed it just to save negative ten twenty in the tent. Next time we do this, I'll bring a chainsaw. But technically, we really don't need to put it Can I get that out. axe? Yeah. You don't really need to put it up. You want to put it up to our head? Nice, dude. Now you just gotta cut it up. Got a good even hinge one? Got a yeah. good stump shot? <laughs> yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be fine. It's going to be comfortable for you to sleep. You'll just slip down a little bit if you roll around in the middle of the night, but you don't, you're not a roller. 
you'll, you'll be just fine. It's hard to see from in there because the, the tent is set up at the same angle. So it's got all that. Right, all right, all right, all right. Pull it out. Dig a hole in the ground. No, I'm not saying it, Jake. Jake. I just want you to sleep comfortably, okay? I need a plasky, damn it. Huh? Tell me about it. What happened? He needs a pl he needs a plasky. A plasky? <laughs> it's a uh no, right, wildland bear tool. You see him, it's an it's an axe with a rubber on the end of it. It's gonna dump on us, boys. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. I hope the tent starts to cave in. Well, we just gotta keep it hot enough so that it melts all the snow and touches it. Yeah. So, at least 105 degrees in there. I don't want to <laughs> wear anything but my chones <laughs> on top of the sleeping bag. Firewood. They're both Tonight, big. Ken is making meat soup. Meat Just chilies. meat and water. No seasoning. <laughs> no seasoning with some pine needles. <laughs> there you go. No, Ken. This is the seasoning right here. This is what's going in. Oh, dude. Yep. That ground pepper. Yeah, it's ground pepper. A little bit of whatever was under that log that we dug up. <laughs> Crush burn scar. Crush pants. Crush pants. We are just relaxing now. Are we though? I'm pretty tense. <laughs> I feel like oh. you're trying to touch me. We're having venison chili tonight. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you're like three Ken, inches off it's the a, ground. It's Ken's a, got the cushy pad. It's a single. <laughs> it's a single. <laughs> it looks so comfy. First time I went camp with Posey, he brought a sh like at least 50 pounds of canned goods and some glass jarred venison. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we went on like a kind of a big expedition into this island. We had the canoe full because we were sick of carrying everything, and we had to go like a mile. We just started dra all three of us just dragging rather the than pour just the canoe. We just threw everything in the canoe and dragged it down the gravel. Road. Yeah, <laughs> just we're just heaving it down this gravel road. Oh my god. My dad's like, make sure you take care of that canoe. Roar and crunch. Yeah, yeah. Ken's proprietary chili blend. What's in there, Ken? It's a secret, dude. It's like, remember how I said it? <laughs> <laughs> well? Chili's about done. We've got a nice loaf. Ken's got homemade dad bread. What are we going to cut that loaf of bread with? I got a knife. It is ripper. Or rip it. <laughs> Three pieces. <laughs> How much uh, dad loaf you got? Oh, I'll show you. It's not much. 
Dad loaf. <laughs> I'll call it a dad loaf. That's what that's what the name of the bread should be. That's that's how it's dad loaf. Oh nice, okay. Yeah, it's dense though. Nice. I think you have the right idea. Do we just need to like nuke this bread to eat the chili? Why don't we just, the bread will get heated up by the chili. Why don't we put it in the wood burning stove? The, I mean, the bread was probably a little frozen, so you definitely want it at least warm. Did you remember when we ate the frozen loaf of bread in uh, Quincy City? Frozen solid <laughs> in the center, and we just like had to cut around it because it's like frozen solid bread. Lord. Gracias. All right, do you got a receptacle? I'm gonna need one of the water pots. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's... I'm gonna need one of the pots or pans. Let's... Don't you have a cup? I'm not, I need, this is not gonna work. You don't have, scoop her in there, bud. No, I need more than this. <laughs> well, that's plenty. Oh, oh my gosh. You want that's this third, dude. That's you, that's all you. Dude, that's like a half. Yep. Ken, what do you got? You got your little bowl? Well, that's fair. I can eat that. Especially because there's like four of them in my truck. <laughs> there's like everything oh, in my truck. Hot. There's utensils, there's bowls. Alright, chunk of bread on there. Is that enough bread for me? Spoon of approval. Oh my god. Cause that is Jake's proprietary, <laughs> or Ken's proprietary chili right there. <laughs> that's beast. I think it's good. I think this is nutrition that not have my body neither. Oh dude, our body's definitely needed this. I think your what your body needs is that bay leaf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get that crispy bread in there? Do you ever think that it tastes way better than it actually is because we put in a lot of I mean, work today? Food always tastes better when you're cooking it out here over the fire. It doesn't even like it's just it's food. And then you you put a little work into it, a little heart and soul, and it, yeah, it elevates it. I'm gonna start slurping it down once it gets to drinking temperature. Make sure mm -hmm. you get that on camera, the slurping part. in the background of this. <laughs> oh, really no, question. <laughs> oh no, the oh no, the tent just ripped. I mean, I love some adversity. As long as everything's okay, I will take all the adversity we can get. As long as everything's fine or our moods are still good, give it, slap, well, slap it on. Come on, Mother de Nature. Define okay. Like, because if the adversity, if you're looking for adversity, then typically things aren't okay. I'm looking for okay adversity, like I'm talking like moderate. The tent blows over, moderate. but we take care of it pretty quick. You just put your, you just put Ken's nice knife right in your thigh. That's that not the adversity, adversity I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't want that adversity. <laughs> that would be adversity. That's not the adversity I want. Like your upper thigh, not your inner thigh. So you'd be good. So no artery? Just, no, no artery, just kind of a flesh wound. Is there going to be an infection, deep. a bone infection or anything? Maybe. We'll, we'll see, with, that's... Dude. Oh, speaking of, you want to see a gnarly... We'll clean it with Ken's proprietary blend. Yeah. We There's ate nothing it. We ate it all. better than eating chili and seeing some crazy pussy infection. Do you want to see a crazy infection? Yeah. Oh! <sighs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a day... These guys are trying to sleep, and I'm here to keep them awake, so I'll catch you guys in a mess. Good night. Jacob says good morning. This, is, this update has been brought to you by Poses Demon that possess him. Don't get possessed, get possessed. <laughs> Thought about practicing mindfulness. I don't know.
What does that even mean? It means Enlighten me. I'm gonna put it in words. It means doing things with intention. I do stuff with intention. That shot looks terrible. Probably. But it means thinking about Pike Place Roast. Brought to you by Jake's Key Guy. Brought to you by... What's it brought to me by today? Bushcraft coffee grinder. It's working. It's, it's working. Dude, you guys are going to have a hot cup of joe here in no time. Yep. This one's for you, what are you thinking? No, no, no. No, 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 no. I need you to enjoy the fruits of your labor, Ken. All right, for breakfast this morning, we're having bannock and gravy with Jake's venison sausage. Brought to you by, it's like thawing out, and we freezing, thawing out. And then you that, keep... that burger we ate last night? Oh, definitely freezer burn on there. Should I cut that off? No, just eat it. It's not gonna kill you. That'd be all right. That burger you ate last night, that freeze and thawed so many times this fall, because it just sat in that cooler out in my deck. We're making some bannock. Well, I figure if I leave now, I could probably make it by the time this is done. Maybe, yeah. I'm just kidding. Go get your, go get your workout in, dude. <laughs> I got a, a, a I'm suture kit, it. the monofilament, with the, with the um, three, three eighths inch needle. needle. In that case, dude, I need you to sew me up. Pose to cut my arm. We can... I what? Dude, I... I need you to cut me so he can practice. Oh, oh, you're saying pose to cut my arm, not yeah, like I did cut your cut arm. Cut my calf. Sliding, sliding down. Are you cold? I'm gonna fix that. Huh? Are you, are you cold, dude? Oh, the wrapper? Yeah. Hot 10 by your time. Oh, I thought you meant Giant coffee beans. <laughs> A little healthy, cute portion of butter. Mm -hmm. Ken's Mountain Roast. Made on a mountainside by an artisan worker, <laughs> crushed in a pan. Format's a little different because I, you know, I do long, really long videos, so I can get, a, I, I still do those, and those are always nice, but, there we go, buttered both sides of the bannock, now she can cook in peace. Yeah, Jake, you don't want to see what's out here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Dude, that's a view. Look at that bright sunlight. It's just beautiful. This is a beautiful place. It's just absolutely getting hammered over there. Oh yeah. We might the snow might not hit us. We got a winter storm warning today. But uh we don't see it yet. Um early, early season. And they said we start with a cute teeny tiny healthy portion of butt hair. You want it to come out as smooth as it, smooth as it goes in. Thicken her up a little bit. Make that roux, you know. Okay. Yeah, I can see a coffee, man. Dude, I can. I got you a coffee. I can see why it's so warm up here. It's definitely not this warm back in the Back in Jake's corner. I just want to be part of the team. 
you are, bud. Give me your cup. I don't have a cup. Well, man. get it, get it going. Oh, that's Ooh. looking good. Dude, that's. It's got some chunks, Ken. <laughs> Jake, you gotta see past the chunks, bro. <laughs> that's the first thing that went in my mouth. Is a fat one. Well, <laughs> no, that's good. Don't worry about it. Oh my god! <laughs> Looks like that chili last night. Ken's morning morning glory coffee. Dude. All right, and then nice. to our bannock and gravy, we're gonna add some black pepper. course some salt not too much salt not too little salt just the right amount of salt as Jake would say all right Jake it's pretty good all right let's let's go ahead and serve our breakfast boys my chopsticks dude oh dude that was not a good idea well you give me this dinky little cup how am i going to get this all in there don't put that back on the <laughs> so. i need to use a spoon well it's going to be hard i'm just going to be because we're going to be eating out of these other pans gone before then dude what about this bread that's why I wanted a bigger pan for you. Well, this is what we got. You're giving dude. me this Improvise. cute little thing. All right, that's good, dude. That that's way too much. Okay, okay. God, <laughs> dude, I don't want it all over my sleeping bag. More sour cream. Is that good enough? You want some more? Heck yeah, no, that's good enough right there. All right, I'll just plop mine in here. Thanks, bud. Breakfast is served. Ken's got the old bushcraft chopsticks. Anybody want Creole? No, thank you. Negative. I'm all good. Mmm. Mmm. That's some good sausage. Sausage. That's the key to a good bannock and gravy is good quality sausage. Five years old, freezer burnt, still good. Mm -hmm. This is all I got. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> Those wouldn't let me have any more. I only got this little thing. That's true. Now that breakfast is done, we've got some backcountry skiing and snowboarding to do. We've got a little bushcraft project that'll remain what's hidden the, to the viewer. What's the bushcraft project? The, did all you that. catch all that? That's you. There's extra. His nickname is Wandering Hands Posa for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Sometimes these videos take extra editing before posting them online. And that's the last time we ever saw Jake's sea guy. Peace out, brother.
winter storm looks like it's starting. Uh, as you can clearly see, you can't clearly see the mountains anymore. <laughs> that's that's the thing. Yeah, it's a little bit snowy. I think I'll probably. You cool if I start on some firewood while you're doing that? Yeah, yeah. Um, guys, I'll get to work Oh yeah, she's uh, getting less visible by the second there. Yep. What do we got here? Elk Grove? Maybe? Maybe not? definitely one of the more scenic spots I've hot tented in. I'm hoping we get one clear day so we can see all the peaks of the mountains. But with that winter storm coming in, that's not going to be today. We might get a chance tomorrow. We, we had some pretty good clear views yesterday, but I'd like to get real lucky, get all the peaks clear. But it's not quite cold enough for that. But anyways, um, normally when I'm camping, you know, you can't tell where I started. But here, since we're at high elevation, we went up the whole time. You can see, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the truck is like, I think past that white over the hill from that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think if you see where that, all right, where are we? If you see where that white spot is in the center and you go up, there's the top of a hill and you go down to the car, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I could be completely wrong. Maybe it's somewhere over there because I, I don't think we came straight at it. We might have like came from over here and came this way up because it does look like there's a kind of a valley, but I, it's something like that. But you can see a long ways away. It's somewhere over there. Oh, it's snowing now. You can't even see down. <laughs> you can't see the mountains. You can barely see down the hill. I don't know, man. Probably not the, the well. We're gonna go snowboarding and skiing now that the the blizzard's in effect. All right, we're we're heading up the hill, up the mountain for another rip. I found a more efficient way to strap the uh, snowboard on the uh, the old backpack, so hiking should be good to go. We've got a nice crack 
right here you can see going so this snow wants to break off do a small little avalanche or something i'm not really up to my avalanche knowing and understanding but they were they heard a wolf so we're moving away from this going over this way again <laughs> oh. oh, backwards. I should have brought my chest mount, but it's uh, I was packing so much stuff around the uh, airplane that I just like started wanting to sacrifice stuff. Home sweet home. You guys want a pot of hot brown when you get back? Yeah, that uh, hot brown brown is what I need. Did you crush up enough up brown brown? I didn't crush any up. No, I used it all. But uh, the coffee is in my orange backpack, food pack. Oh, dude, that's all the way over there. Uh, it might be a, that might it might be far. Are you sitting down right now? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. That sounds real nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I might have to get me some of these. These are pretty awesome. These I've I've been looking for walkie talkies because like when I go out with like Captain Teeny Trout or Funk and. We're fishing, you know, across the lake on canoe trips and stuff. Uh, sometimes, you know, you can't communicate, which is fine. But sometimes you want to communicate. Like with Funk, there'll be times when she's caught fish. And, you know, like we were like, oh, should we keep them? Or it's just nice to check in. These things are nice. Like they're, I mean, maybe it's working out better because I'm up high in there down there. But these go pretty far. I might have to invest in some of these. It'd be better than yelling across the water. Oh, we're fogging up. Now it's focused.
I can start cutting on there. You hold the flare in your hand and hit it. You could light your, you could light your legs on fire too. Yes. Yes. Hit it again. Recover a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Because if we can catch the Alpen glow, you're on the side. And flying over. Paul, so you're not getting up in daylight. Easily. I was up. Thanks, man. Yeah. Try yeah, it. it's snowing. It's okay. It's going to make our camp look nice and pristine for tomorrow. We're going to wake up with two feet. I hope so. Tonight for dinner is okay. Jake's stir fry. Got the water boiling, got the brown rice going in. Why is it Jake's stir fry? Because this was your idea. Stir fry. All right. Now we got to simmer this for an hour and a half. Then we can start dinner. At the end of a nice long day, there's nothing better than an ice cold chug of milk. Mmm. Cream on top. I can't wait for Jake stir fry. Why is it Jake stir fry? You know why. No, I don't. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. It's Jake's stir fry, through and through. All right, for Jake's uh, stir fry, we gotta throw in a little chunk of butt hair. Jake's busy and he's supervising this very carefully. Spread on thick, oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, you want me to make it? If you want to, no, but if you're not gonna eat it, you can't. <laughs> if you want to, no. <laughs> if you want to, no. <laughs> Get an option. <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do is fry you gotta, up some. Gotta boil that rice, buddy. <laughs> These are rough grouse breasts that Jake has harvested. We're gonna each take one. Dude, these are juicy. They're actually just trash ferrets. Trash ferrets. It's actually pigeon. <laughs> that I can't it's remember. pigeon. <laughs> no. Seagull. Trash parrot. <laughs> Seagulls. Wait, are seagulls considered, that's what a trash parrot is? I don't know, I just turned that up. It's pretty good though. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. A seagull little trash parrot. I like that. Oh yeah, slop these on here. And then Jake has required that we put, not Montreal steak seasoning, but Creole. <laughs> that's just all we have. He said Creole only on his stir fry. I want it to be known that Jake has refused to cook the stir fry. He said, absolutely not will I cook that. Jake's famous Creole partridge. Want me to take some video of you skiing, Jake? No. <laughs> oh, you dude. Motion stick we got when we were burning from the helicopter, Jake. Oh, yeah. Alright. We are going to add Jake's Oriental Blend Vegetables. Frozen. Those are homemade. Homemade. Am I doing it right, Jake? Out? Nope, they're frozen. Dude, you didn't tell me how to thaw them out. A pack of Jake's stir fry seasoning mix. Proprietary blend. <laughs> oh! <laughs> just dumped the packet in there. Or dude's the packet in there. Here's a little splash of love. 
Alright. <laughs> I'm doing my best not to cut it right into the pan so I don't dull my Ken's knife. That's pretty nice. It needs, yeah. a, it needs a sharpen. I appreciate you. Now we're gonna add Jake's partridge to Jake's stir fry mix. Okay. Now we just need more heat. Boys, sorry. <laughs> and then once this gets heated up, I think. Jake, can we eat it? Oh, dude. You tell me. <laughs> I gotta meditate, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it doing it? It's not, doing you, it? Were, you had it before, definitely. Alright, this is about... This is... <laughs> right in your boot. And in the drinking water. Jake's stir fry is about done. Jake's stir fry is done? We're gonna throw a little pepper on it because Jake said we could. <laughs> is that cool, Jake? We put some black pepper on there? Jake, Are we allowed yeah, salt, for, Jake? Thanks for Thanks for making dinner, Jake. Thanks for making dinner, dude. Whoa dudes. I'm stirring up stir fry over here. Yeah, don't thank me. <laughs> hey, at least it's healthier, man. Brown rice, veggies. It is pretty tasty. Pretty, pretty healthy tasty. Ken's just like, I want a little bit. Now <laughs> you got a fat bowl. That'll Dude, work. You're a grown boy. It's actually... That's a good little dinner portion. That's a great little dinner portion. Let's eat Jake's stir fry. I hope it tastes good. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Jake, I don't know what you put on this. Well, if it doesn't taste good, just blame me. I, I definitely will. <laughs> he could use more pepper. I'll use a little bit more pepper. A little, <laughs> awesome. little bit more Creole. I'll Jake. eat it as is. I'm not picky. But the broccoli's not done. So. <laughs> it is. Jake, you should have let it be a little cooler when you're cooking. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Oh, hey, can dude, we shut that I'm... door up? It's getting a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, I'm curious about this. Mm. How's it? It's getting a little chilly in here. Are we throw another log in? That's not bad, Jake. This is pretty good, Jake. <laughs> Thanks for putting in all this work. <laughs> really pulling your weight around here. Yeah, dude. Jake. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Are you comfy in your sleeping bag? I'm pretty content. <laughs> I was planning on reading, but we haven't made it that far yet. You want a bite of your <laughs> stew? <laughs> you just sneeze into your stir fry? Almost. No, dude, I don't want it. I'm good. Uh, I'm very full. Jake, I might put a little more salt. Don't be offended. <laughs> mm. Alert us to danger. That's oh! That's oh! That's gross. That was real gross. Whoa! That was full blown. Here, Luger, bro. <laughs> I might need a wet nap. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand how some of you might think that was gross. <laughs> I'm real <gonna> hungry. <laughs> I might side with you on that one. 
I'm real hungry. This is a loogie <laughs> fucking right in your stir fry. <laughs> I don't know what made that happen. Let's try all that pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just trying to look outside. I just want to show that it's snowing out there, you know? <laughs> it is winter, you don't. <laughs> well, it's really snowing. See? If you look out there, you can see that it's snowing. Well, Jake's stir fry was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Anyways, it's snowing out there. Pretty good, as you can see by my little clip that I was made fun of and ridiculed for. Also but winter. <laughs> it's snowing pretty good. We're supposed to get up to 48 inches tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Couple feet. Tomorrow morning, you act really disappointed. <laughs> No, we're supposed to get snow. We'll see how much. Jake, I think Can I hit me with the light? Oh, dude, it's like a spotlight. There you go. There we go. Oh. I think we should hit that tomorrow. This All right. One, this ridge? Uh-huh. That's hard to stare like into. That. I'm good on that, Jake. It's too much. Lights, camera, action, playboy. <laughs> There's a spot still with my eyes closed. Oh. Let me see. Anyways, uh... Everyone's getting tucked in, ready for bed. Can we so, send it, dude? Hey, we're gonna pass out! Tomorrow, we'll send it tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Avalanche Good night, walk. everybody. Lots Good morning. Oh. It snowed all night, and we need bean juice to awaken. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna make a quick release for my bowels. Giving in. It's like giving in to Ken's sugary treats. Mm. We've got pancakes for breakfast. I accidentally grabbed dark chocolate with chocolate chips. Oops, my bad. Gonna be tasty. Would you really? Oh yeah, I love Lucky Charms. Oh, well... Or they also had Fruity Pebbles ones. Man, those pancakes were great. Might be a little watery. They might be a little watery. Then I'll give you an endorsement. Yeah. Is that on your, is that on your docket or is that just... With an instructor oh. at the school. If I scout for elk, I'm mean, just fly around with for elk. I mean, like, how hard is that? <laughs> so, Ken, after you achieve the pilot's license, what's next, man? Your man is old. Yeah, I'll... Between the bacon grease burning and... I definitely think this is good for bear country. Oh, they'll love you. Get off on your own. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, you just you go. You give them 175 bucks, or you give them give them your card number, your information. Uh, well, back in the pan, they're just cleaning it. Hey, good thinking. Jake, Jake's cake's almost ready. Fat Jake's cakes. It's Vulcan season. Dude. Oh. oh yeah, get the crumbs. Yeah. Can you want the next pancake? Yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> there we go, that boy. You're gonna enjoy that. I feel like I put in so much hard work. You want coffee? It comes and visits, visits and all it goes for all, not. It goes all to hell. Yeah. What do you mean it's all for not?
Oh no. Oh man. Ken, you might want to open that door. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> here. Oh man. Jake, why would you do that? I'm sorry, you I'll own that. Jake's cakes. Of course you did it to my pancake, Jake. Done. Scrape it off, dude. Dude, Jake. it's just grease. No, it <coughs> scrape it off! Well, there's still some on the bottom of this. Jake's cakes, 50% of the time, they're perfect every time. How'd, we, how'd you burn so much wood last night? Well, we still got a full day on the mountains, huh? Crazy, you can't even just tell there's mountains back there. Scooby do, Scooby don't. Where are you? Got some work for you now. Hey man, what the heck? Hey, you started it. Perfect! It was perfect! Woohoo! Nice work! Yeah. You coming? Yep. Yes! <laughs> I hurt my arm. <laughs> Exhilarating. Jake, no, you gotta. I'm going to the truck. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> now I got him on. Yo, cut poser. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm not hitting any more unless poser does, because that's just kind of a, being a team. You can't convince us to do things if you're not going to do it. I never convince anybody. I throw, to, throw out a joke and the kid was like, yes. <laughs> and then he's like, I was like, I'll build it if you'll hit it. And he's like, yes. You've been so talking like, about it for 24 hours. It's time for you to man up and do it. Dude, yourself. listen. I believe in you. Thank you, Cody Townsend. <laughs> Cody Townsend? Yeah. Is that your inspiration? Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew Poser, for not trying it. Was our little project. I floated a joke and Ken said he'd do it and they're both hitting the jump now. <laughs> He's still learning.
probably got eight inches now. Yeah. All the excitement of you guys hitting jumps, I'm just ready for a oh nap. Oh my gosh, dude. I was going to jump over the tent, but I figured with my pack on, that was a great idea. Yeah, it'd be questionable. You guys may be wondering why I didn't hit the jump. And Jake dislocating his shoulder is part of the reason why. No, Pose is in because God. <laughs> no, dude, Pose is getting too old for this. This is for Giggle Dan. I will remember you. <laughs> oh, jeez. We don't really understand. And they're like, they're like, just do it. Trust us. You know, we're helicopter people. The 200 footer. Mm -hmm. You know, we have oh, big yeah. people down here, and they're like, we don't really understand because you're in like a region match. So, no, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I think Andy was like, no more. Or right. we'll the jumpers. What's that? More? More. That's More. 10 ounces a piece. That means that we can get have over half a cup of sour cream each. Proza loves breaking it into thirds. <laughs> Even though he ends up, we have, you and I have one third, he has two thirds. You guys make it that way. I would split it up evenly every time. You're forcing me to be this way. Not really. Yeah. You, you know, there's a thing called self-discipline. I eat a third. I'm just watching this weather roll through. It's just crazy. You look comfy. I am comfy. I wish I had my. Uh... Oh wait, you can see the mountains. Close Peace. cell phone. Uh, want me to get it for you? No, it's buried. Oh, is it underneath your pad? It's in my busy. We're just out here waiting for the weather to clear up, so that maybe we can watch the sunset. We got blue skies. You got any other words of wisdom, Jake? This message has brought, brought to you by The Reading Rainbow. Just take a look. It's in a book. The Reading Rainbow. Woo! Don't worry, don't look that hard, Poza. Give her a shot. I used to snowboard. Let me get the T bar going. Hey, huh? You should build a chairlift right here. Chairlift, yeah. There, for a hike. There's nothing more fun than walking like just like that. Ken! What? Spread your toes. Use them like snow. Yeah. Shoes. It's mainly been designed around skiers. And the fact that there's I spots know. where you come to a, you come to like a dead stop with a snowboard. <laughs> or the poles you can just nice. Or skis you, or with a snowboard you gotta hop or oh, I rock. Rock or you gotta unclip and push with your foot. Great job, Ken. Thanks, Good job, guys. Ken. Ken, are you tired? Yeah. Look I'm at the blue skies. Did you? Did you drop your camera? Did it miss Many it? a times. Okay. Yeah, this lens has been through some stuff, man. All right, while well, we're heading back up for another run, final one of the trip potentially. You know, I got a whole one per day. Well, it's, a big, it's a big day for you with one. I know, dude. Pose of the team.
<laughs> you guys make it look so much easier. So this has been a pretty sweet trip so far. Definitely something I've wanted to do. You know, I haven't done crazy amounts of snowboarding, but it's a lot of work, so I'm still getting it. And we're going on another one. But I don't know if it's obvious by now, but we are camping in what's a burn scar. You can see this was all burned by fire because you can see where this forest, with little patches of trees. But all these trees, you know, there's char on them. There's a fire ripping through here. I don't know, like 10, 10 years or more ago, 10, 15 years. Jake said something like that. But yeah, that's why you hear that eerie whistling through the trees, which I'm not used to camping in that. You know, I've been out here before, but I didn't get an experience where we got to set up with a view like this. And I've been looking forward to doing this for quite a while. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Just right up high, nice backdrop of that. It's very majestic. But tonight's our last night. We'll see how long we spend up here. Maybe we're gonna stay for the sunset. I brought the camera. We might make a fire up here, but the winds died down a lot and the blue skies are poking through and the snow has stopped. So it'd be really nice if all the clouds covering the mountains cleared up and we just got a beautiful sunset. Yeah, that was a wump under my feet. Yeah. That's a view. exposed grass and rocks there because it's just so windy up here the snow doesn't stick and right there is grass it's not too deep right here oh yeah it's hard to have this wind blown and if it was all like this I wouldn't think oh yeah
her oh, go. Oh no, it was half Ken's fault. <laughs> was it? No. I think if you just don't break it next to the fire. You're right. You're not wrong. Fire! Oh, there still wasn't standing there. It's going pretty good now. Hell yeah. This is just a gorgeous view. It really is. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. You boy, you got me on the radio? Yee hoo! Yes, sir! Hey boys. All right, we're back at camp and it is dinner time. Jake's hungry. The beast must be fed. First things first, of course, we're always gonna start with the red onion. Looks tasty. Jake's cut up some venison backstrap that he harvested and putting some Creole seasoning on it. You should be nice. Oh, I can. Oh, dude, I'm I don't know. <laughs> you say something? Jake's trying. Using leftovers, bud. I don't know. Maybe. Crash! That's why you wouldn't let me get pre sliced mushrooms. <laughs> That's what I grabbed. He's like, no, 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 they gotta be whole. I was like, why did he need to be whole? And then I thought, oh, he's gotta do this weird thing. Perfect. Was, oh. Gosh. So, you er smell a lot of butter? Where's the spatula? Uh, that's a good question. I'm just sitting here trying to watch water boil. 
Um, <laughs> I don't see the spatula over here. You happen to see it? You saw that string earlier, Ken? Yep. Uh, I put it in my orange pack. Gracias, senor. For Jake. Add a little bit of flour. You can cook her down. It'll still taste just the, just the same. I don't know if we had enough butter in there, but now we're gonna add some Monty Dookie. Mess. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay. And once this gets simmering, Jake, you feel free to start the meat. Maybe get the noodles boiling. Add a little black pepper. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just a right amount of salt. Should pair well with the salty meat. <laughs> the gator bites. All right, Ken's on, Ken's on backstrap duty. Jake's on noodle duty, noodle duty. There's our water. We're gonna need more than that, but yeah. Well, it's not gonna take more than that. Backstrap, you don't want to take it through wrong, right? Yeah. Those are good. Oh. <laughs> yep. That reminds me of something happened. Uh, what went down today? Ken. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, it's definitely familiar. Do you think we have enough? Can you make sure we get every scrap? <laughs> Hold on. I will. Do we have any more sour cream? Ooh, are you gonna warm up the dad loaf at all, or are we just gonna eat oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, damn. You're making your own dad loaf. All right, Jake, thank, thanks for your help. Wait, did I say that? Yeah. They're, they're definitely not done. Just throw it on the wall. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> do you, don't, please? <laughs> If it sticks to the wall, then it's done. That's for spaghetti noodles only. You think we added too much sour cream? It's looking a little... Creamy. Well, it's just one less thing we got to carry out. That's right. Unless I don't take a poop before we leave tomorrow, then I'm still carrying it out. Sure. Er, okay. I said sure. <laughs> I accept what happens. I just wasn't sure if it was too salty. You know who'd really cook well together? Mm. I can imagine. Is this, can I take this? Mm -hmm. How is it? Oh, too much cream. Just enough, dude. Just, just try them out. May I please oh, have yeah. a slice? Mm -hmm. Jake, you could just eat out of this one. It's already got the noodles in it. It's gonna be sloppy. You're not gonna have enough stuff in there. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. 
Oh yeah, baby. Oh no. Oh, it's burning my finger. Ah! Ah! All right, well, I'm just gonna, do you want any more sauce before I just dump the noodles in? Yeah, sure. Take a little I more want, juice. I want some, I want some more goodies. And then I'll just do some of that. Oh, that, that looks like some hefty portions. Yeah. Does anybody want extra noodles? I'll take some extra nudes. There you go. Oh, or I can dump it. Thanks. Jake, is that enough for you? That'll be more than enough, man. Are you sure? I'm scared. Gear strogie. Yep. Back strap. I'm happy to see you take a big portion. Is it big? Oh, uh, that's gonna fill you up. <laughs> yeah. What what's uh what'll get you is that it's a flat shallow pan. Mm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Jake, you want you want some of this? The noodles taste like they went in a little too early for me. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Ken. Mm. There, Jacob, turn it away from you. Gracias. So now it's just watching Ken eat. I don't really have anything to say right now. Slurp it more. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take a deep breath with this <clears throat> bite. Oh, yeah. I'm almost doing the snot thing again. <laughs> oh, you got it? Yeah, there you go. Good. Just don't inhale a noodle. <laughs> Goes down the gullet. So just that thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God, dude. Yeah, I like how like I don't know, half, thirty seconds really like I think uh, my nose is running again. Anybody got a wipe handy? No. I'll just use my sock. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Can yep. you making it through? Barely, dude. I was why I was surprised when you went back for more and then noodles. I was like, dang. Ken's hungry. But it was like, it, it spread out, it's just like, ooh, and it like, yeah. oozes out, and it's like, oh, okay, I am hungry. You're welcome. Thanks. I figured you could use the dairy. You didn't have enough milk today. Ken, you're playing the butt trumpet hard. My tummy is upset. <laughs> My tummy is upset. <laughs> yeah, you both uh, again. Oh! <laughs> again. My bad. Uh, we're laying down and going to bed. We had some good food and the stars are out. It's going to be a cold night tonight. And, you know, some people are farting and stinking in the tent. I'm not going to say any names. But it's somebody. And it's been really nasty. Oh, there it is. Well, I'll leave it up to your imagination as to who it could be. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys in the morning. What Good if night. You don't, what do you mean, what if I don't? What if we smother you? Oh, then I guess if they kill me tonight, then I won't see you in the morning. Have a good night. Oh, hey, the mountains are still there. Who would have thought? Nice.
glorious Alpen Glow. This is why we do it. Alpen Glow, baby. Hopefully the whole range there gets uh, glowing. Shake up in your cup. It was a nice little, it was a nice little three days because we got like some crazy winds, some snow, we got some ramps, got a nice hike in. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Big ski guy. Big ski guy. Good, good morning, dude. That's a view, Ray. It is a view. Yeah. Worth getting out of bed, Posa? Yeah. Okay. I'm also excited for my feet to go down. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Even all the way out here in the mountains, he just randomly shows up. Oh, shoot. You can see us? you come over you just see a kind of silhouetted against this windbreak <laughs> did you use coordinates to get to us yeah generally um, he gave me some and then once I hit the tree line the first tree line I was able to spot you was it the smoke no the tra the tracks and then the disturbed snow fence here did you have binoculars or just, oh nice. Oh, you can see your tracks coming up this hillside. Oh yeah, I bet you can. Yeah. I skied up there this morning. Yeah. Luke, Ken, Ken, Luke. Ken, hey, nice and finally. Dude, you guys should both yeah, let their like hair down. Yeah, yeah dude, yeah. both. <laughs> we needed to see both you guys let your hair down and see whose is longer and more Probably flowy. Are you making a movie called The Expendables? The Hot Boys. The Hot Boys. Oh, yeah, the Hot Tent. <laughs> The hot boys. How many boy, more boys can we fit in this tent? Oh, I mean, there's space in between <laughs> Ken and Jake. There's a space back here. If we all sleep in the fetal position, we can probably oh, all sleep man. in here. Yeah. I call the swamp. <laughs> yeah. We got Ken's swamp form in here. <laughs> yep, Ken's swamp. It's a high traffic area, okay? <laughs> Pose has gotten Pose's mess. Well, I stacked my, my packs and gear, and my little shelf just kind of evaporated <laughs> evaporated down here and yeah. so i was just kind of rolling into it mm -hmm. and i just had it in my head like yeah i kept sliding this. into the fire did i kick you last night i keep sliding down probably <laughs> i don't know i was rolling around just gonna throw in a quick little intermission here it's come to my attention that luke's mom suzanne you've had you've been watching the videos but you're not subscribed to the channel he's called you out i'm not mad i'm just disappointed <laughs> So now that Luke showed up, we've decided we no longer wish to be here. <laughs> and we're just getting out of here. Dang it, Luke. Dang it, Luke. This is Jake's sled now. Oh, an expedition. <laughs> yeah, it's the expedition. Hot
Powder's good. Powder's good. We were half expecting you to hit the, hit the oh. scooter. You gonna haul your own water? I'm out. It's a no go. You know, you're going to your house anyway, so if you want to buy, you know. Oh, how did that? How'd that go? Was it through powder? Flat? Oh, still hilly powder. That sounds a lot of fun. How long did that take you? More than one day? Really? Jake. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Oh, I got this boat anchor. We're all packed up, ready to head on out of here. So we'll catch you next time. Right, That's right. Oh man. On the leading rainbow. Dude, my thing is just wow. All right. I don't think I can That's. Oh. Right up there, somewhere where camp was. Whew. A lot easier going down than it is going up, even though my sled is top heavy and it's rolling over constantly. They're much faster than I am. This thing is just constantly rolling over. And they're kind of just skiing down. I think Jake even convinced Luke to drag his sled. Yeah, it's so it's heavy. The, uh, I mean, mine's rolling over constantly, so that's slowing me down. Oh, yeah. How much it sinks into the snow. I might just put my skins on. Yeah? Or he might, he might as well put his skins on. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh -huh. How you doing, Ken? Good, dude. Yeah, I'm doing... Oh, dang it. Huh? I needed a workout. Yeah. And that was the last time we ever saw Jake C guy. Just ripping downhill through the woods on it with a sled behind him. <laughs> well, okie dokes, folks. That was a fun little few nights we spent out in the mountains. Had a beautiful view. We got a gorgeous sunrise this morning. Nice sunset last night. We got snow. We got wind. And uh, just, you know, magnificent views. That's what I was after. But uh, we've just got a little more downhill hiking to get back to the car. And that's it. I'm going to stay around a little bit more. I'm going to do some snowboarding at some place tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.